Hey, Valley Middle, welcome back. Tonight we're going to start our first of three lessons on percents. But before we do that, let's take a look at the trivia question. Name the character and the movie this dude was in. All right, let's get to the target. Officially tonight is 7.2a. Given part of a number, I can find its percentage of the whole. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? I'm going to make it easy for you tonight. Let's do this thing. All right, let's talk about Cade. Cade did some extra chores for his mom and dad. They agreed to pay him $40. They didn't have enough cash to pay him the full amount, so they gave him $36. What percentage of the $40 did they pay him? Here's a shorter way of asking that question. What percent of $40 is $36? Well, I got $36 here, and that's the part of it that they did pay. Here's the $40, which is the whole amount. If I take $36, dollars and I multiply that times the 100 and then I divide it just like it says it says multiply here and then it says divide over here and I divide by the whole I get 90 and that is the percent kind of cool huh this box here you're gonna get to know real well over the next three lessons and it's an important tool and it'll help you solve all the percent problems that you're gonna be asked on our test all right, let's take a look at um, some must-know words. First of all, what we're doing here is a percent proportion. And in a percent proportion, on one side, you have a fraction or a ratio like 4 to 5 or 4 out of 5. And on the other side, you have an equivalent percent. 4 out of 5 is equal to 80%. Let's just check that. Do you remember my little trick going diagonally? 4 times 100 is 400. 5 times 80, it's 400. Therefore, we know that those are equal fractions. All right? Well, take a quick peek at this as a review. 1 half, we all know, is the same as 50 one hundredths, correct? And I can multiply 1 by 50 to get there to 50, and I can multiply 2 by 50. Remember, whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. Okay, well, that's one way of getting to a percent, but it doesn't always work out that easily. So you can also check the diagonals when you're given two fractions to see if those two fractions are equal. And this is what we practice doing in the first uh, lessons of 7.1. All right, next, these are the three types of questions that you're going to be asked in percentage. And tonight, we're going to look at this one. Find the percent. What percent of six is three. These are the type of press questions. And all of them are going to use a box that's set up just like that box I gave you. And we're going to be going, we're going to be missing the percent. And that's what we need to find. There's going to be a whole bunch of different ways we ask the questions tonight, but this is still the one we're going to be working with. Here are some examples. What percent of 60 is 15? 15 is what percent of 60? How many percent of 60 is 15? Find what percent of 60 is 15. Have I confused you enough yet? They're all asking the same thing. Let's take a closer look at an example. All right, here's our first problem of the night. What percent of 15 is 9? All right, well, here's my box. And what's really important is that... Did you hear that? What do you say, Ben? Okay, Obi-Wan Kenobi has stepped in to help us teach this. He said, use the box. Okay, so what part do we have? Let's see. What percent of 15 is 9? So the whole is definitely going to be down here. That's 15. And then the part of it we have is 9. So all I have to do is pop it in. I've got three numbers here. The 100 is always going to be there. So we just have to find what this number is. So take my calculator, clear it out. I'm going to multiply 9 by 100 and then divide by 15. I'll multiply the part by 100 and divide by 15. All right, let's just do that. Uh, 9 times 100, duh, that would be 100, and then I will, 900, and I will divide that by 15. That gives me 60, 60%. So I'm going to grab 60, put 60 up here, so I got 60%. Now, the question is, does it make sense? Yes. Well, 50% of 15 
would be seven and a half. So nine is gonna be bigger than 50% by a little. So 60% does make sense. Good job, we solved our first problem together. Let's take a look at the next one. 25%, 25 is what percent of 200? What on the earth do I do to solve this problem? Luke, use the box. Okay, thanks, Ben. Ben says, use the box. All right, what is the part? 25, 25 is the part, so I'll put the part in here, and then we're trying to find the percent of 200. Well, 200 is the whole, so I've got 25 over 200. So, get my calculator. I'm going to multiply 25 times 100. 25 times 100. Whoa! 25 times 100. 2,500, there's a big shock. We'll divide that by 200 equals 12.5. 12.5. 12.5. Let's just see. Would this make sense? 12.5%. 25 to 200, 12.5% out of 100. Well, let's see. I got 10% of it would be 20. 10% of 200 would be 20, right? So 25 at 12.5%? Yeah, that makes sense. Good job. We're ready to move on to example three. Almost time for you to do it. All right. How many percent of 60 is 15? Oh, yikes. Let's see. What's my part here? Mm, I got the wrong number here. Uh, my part is 15 because that's the smaller number. How many percent of 60 is 15? So 60 is the whole. So now I've got six, 15 sixtieths. All right, well, let's get my calculator out. I'm going to do this again. Can I just shortcut this? Thanks, guys. That's 1,500, right? 1,500 because it's 15 times 100. Now I just have to divide by 60. Divide by 60 equals 25%. All right, let me put the answer up there and then check to see if it makes sense to me. 15 over 60 25 over 100. Well, does the answer make sense? Well, yeah. We've got 4 times 15 is 60, so 15 has got to be a quarter of it. Yeah, it makes sense. You know what else I can do, too? I can check my cross products. Remember that? 15 times 100 is 1,500, but is 60 times 25 going to be 1,500? Well, let's just check to make sure we got the right answer. 60 times 25 equals, yes! How did I manage to get that right? Luke, use the box. One more time, Ben. Ben. Luke, use the box. That's okay. Sometimes he gets a little bit stubborn. All right. Time for you to try three problems. Give this one a shot. And don't forget to... Luke, use the box. All right, go. All right, I'm back. I'm dying to see how you did. All right, well, the part is 9, because of what percent of 24? So 24 is the whole number. So I would have 9 times 100 is 900. Let me clear this out. 900 divided by 24 would give me, did you say 37.5%? If you did, you nailed it. 37.5%. Very good. All right. Let's see. The next one. Go for it. And don't forget. Luke, use the box. All right. Go. All right. Let's see how you did. Uh, let's see. What 14 is what percent? Okay. So 14 is going to be the part. The whole is going to be 56. And if I put that into the equation it's going to be 25%. And does it make sense? Absolutely. 14 out of 56, 25%? Yeah, because 28 is going to be 50%. So yes, it makes sense. All right, your last problem. Go for it. All right, let's see. What percent of 72, so this is going to be the whole number, the part will be 60. All right, if you said... 83.3% repeating, you got it right. 
how did you manage to figure that out? How, do, how could I figure out a problem like that? Luke, use the box. Are you sick of that yet? Ha <laughs> ha. Tomorrow, you're going to be saying in class, Luke, use the box. And you're going to be able to answer these questions on the quiz. All right, here are your two questions for the ticket. Go ahead and write those down. What is, what percent of 80 is 15? 24 is what percent of 60? All right, were you able to solve the problems and figure out who this dude is? I hope so. This is Ben Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars. And here's the theme song to end our lesson. All right, thanks for watching. Enjoy. Bye.